For me, it was all about, as a young graduate, university graduate, how do I make a difference to people, to people's lives, to the community and to society? And so I was grappling with a number of career choices. I was either going to go into town planning or into teaching or into social work. I couldn't decide which postgraduate degree to do and I ended up being a graduate in the public sector and it was the best career choice I could have made because it fulfilled all of my um, ambition, I suppose, to have a look at what makes society equitable, how do we create a just society through legislation, policy and strategy. So I never looked back and I loved that as a career choice. I thought the MPA would provide me with enormous challenge uh, with contemporary um, reading, academic study in the area of uh, public service administration that it would really challenge both my views and perspectives. I've been in the public service for a number of years when I had the opportunity to do the MPA. A few people said to me, why, why would you do it? You know, you probably don't need to do it. And I thought, no, this is gonna be a great challenge for me. It will be refreshing. It will challenge my perspectives. It will introduce me to a whole new uh, group of people and, and academics and uh, a way of studying the work that I'm doing in a way that will challenge and probably move me to better expertise and better quality in terms of the work that I'm doing. And that's why I chose it. So I would definitely recommend the EMPA to other um, people considering it, no matter where you are in the public service, how long you've been in it, for a short time or a long time, and no matter what position you're holding, uh, just a terrific opportunity and experience to learn, grow, refresh and gain the confidence that you need to go further and, and deliver. When I finished university, I had the mindset that I might go on and do something in, in you know, further study in academia, but I decided not to and I went into the public sector. And I think that was really good for me to have those years of experience and then re-enter a learning space. And I could really challenge what I'd done, what I was doing, I brought practical frameworks for, to the study. And the EMPA challenges you to really think in applied way about the study that you're doing. So for me, it was a great combination of learning and it really did extend my thinking and challenge me in many, many ways. Every subject we did had an applied element to it. It really challenged me to think about a particular area that I was working on and to take my thinking further and to do that in a way that was backed up by good research and evidence. So it was incredibly useful across all of the areas that I work in for that reason and the topics that I chose. But I think profoundly what it does is it really refreshed my everyday thinking about what am I doing? What am I adding in terms of public value? What does this really mean? How am I spending my time? Am I really collaborating on this work? Is this real consultation? What does this mean in terms of partnerships with others? How could I forge better partnerships? How do we work in co-design? All those really contemporary public sector challenges and concepts. I, I started to integrate into my everyday work and that's been the biggest difference. The best thing about the course, look, I think there are, there are three things that come to mind to me. One of them is the opportunity to really learn, to learn by reading good quality material, contemporary literature on leadership in the public sector, to meet the academics who are really uh, first class in delivering the programs and the studies we got involved in. So the academic challenge was certainly very inspiring. What was also inspiring was the opportunity to meet colleagues, to meet new people, to meet people from management roles to deputy secretary roles across the public sector in Australia and New Zealand, to meet new friends and to really learn and work together and learn from each other. And that was really, really inspiring. And I think the third thing for me was, it was a big challenge to how I organised my life. So I had to, I had to restructure uh, the way I worked and lived, uh, but in a really productive and positive way and I felt very fulfilling.